everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a flickety carousel. And this carousel is not exactly like the pony type carousel, more of a slideshow carousel. And as you can see here on my screen, this is what you're going to be able to make by the end of this session. So follow along. As you can see here, this carousel, you can, you can press the arrow buttons and easily moves the pictures. You can also use your mouse to move the pictures back and forth. So easy, right? Well, it's even easier to make. Start by creating a new pen or open a new page on absolutely any coding platform you have. Then you are going to have three divs inside of a div. Start with the div. There you go. Then you're going to also have three divs inside of that div. That's a lot of divs, but depending on if you want more images in your carousel, you add more divs. So I'm just gonna do three simple images. So I only need three divs. If you were to do five images or six images, you would need five or six divs. So you seem to, you get the point. So now that we have our divs, what else we're going to do is find images. So I'm gonna go on my browsing platform, find some images. I use Pexels a lot because it has free, royalty-free um, images. So I'm just gonna get maybe tigers, right? Yeah, tigers. I'm gonna get three tigers. Hmm, I like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on it, open image a new tab, and copy the top. Now, inside this first div, I'm going to do the standard image coding, which is IMV SRC equals, then paste in the link that I copied and end it. There you go, that's your first image. Cute, right? Next, I'm going to find two more images. Oh wow, I like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna open it. Copy it, set up another image. Feel free to pause this video if I'm going too fast. So now I'm gonna get the last image. Oh no, that's just adorable. Okay, this is my last image. I'm gonna open a new tab, copy the top. The reason we're doing this is because we want to make sure that this image does not have any things attached to it. Like if you copied it from Pexels, you get a link, not the actual image link. So you need to make sure that this is a single image. The way you know is if you paste it, all you get is the image. See? Now we are going to take that. So IMG SRC equals paste. End it. So as you can see, I have three images. Maybe the images are a little bit big. Well, that's okay. There is a simple fix to that. The way you fix that is da, 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 by setting up a max height. You go to in your CSS. And then what you're going to do is if I am remembering this correctly, let's hope I am, we're gonna find out if I am, is you go max height, oops, is maybe 60%. Let's go with 60%. Um, let's see, anything happening? Great, did I forget how to do this? Okay, let me figure this out for a minute. Um, let's see. Why isn't it working? Internet, just a second. Ah, I know why. I forgot to add the IMG. And I also 
forgot to change it. So it's actually RMG with 60%. Oh, geez. I think I made it too big. So you can should play around with it, figure out what works for you. That's pretty good. Maybe, yeah, that should work. So we have three nice images. Looks good. Very pretty good. Now, the next step is to add class carousel to each of these images. Now, that class carousel is going to put the foundation to creating our carousel. So let me show you how to do that. Here is what you are going to do. Let's see here. You are going to put in the div. So in this div, you are going to delete the ending, then type class equals quotation marks carousel, and then close it. Oops, it's not a closing. Okay, there. So I made one of them into a carousel. Now you can just copy that. Make the next div into a carousel. And make the last div into a carousel. Now, let's see here. Hasn't done anything yet because we don't have actually anything that recognizes this carousel yet. So we need to type in the CSS the keywords that recognizes this class carousel. So I'm going to reveal the magic keywords. That is going to turn this into the foundation for a carousel. So you're going, what you're going to do is you're going to add dot carousel slash self in your CSS, not slash hyphen whatever this. So it's going to be dot carousel, whatever this is called. I'm not really familiar with it. Um, so. Then underneath it, you are going to add the brackets. Brackets are important. Without brackets, then everything will just be open and it'll glitch out your thing completely. Then let's start with display. Let's do display flex. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'm doing this in the right order, but we're going to get there one way or another. Okay. Then what we're going to do is, give me a moment, I have to find, see. Okay, almost there. Trying to recover some files that I might lost. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next thing we're going to need, actually, the next thing we're going to need before we start working on our carousel, our Flickety links. So have you ever heard of Flickety? If not, let me put the link in the chat. Let's see here. Well, this is Flickety. I pasted it in chat for everybody to click it. So if we click it, that pops up. Now, see here, you're going to have to get some links from Flickety. Let's see. They're all these things. So, let's see, which one do we want? We can get free scroll, autoplay. Autoplay is kind of cool. Group cells or wrap around. I think free scroll. We're going to edit this demo on code pen. It's going to have some key links. Another way you can find the key links that will help you create this flickety 
is to, let's see here, where are they? There's these getting started links, those are helpful. One of them that's really important is the data flickety right here. Initialize with HTML. That's one way to get those links. And another way is to download flickety links where you can, you can click zip these docs. Then you open it up. You have all these docs. You have all this. These are actually really helpful for making all sorts of different flickities. So let's take it back here. Let's start with the main link. Without this link, your flickety won't even exist. So pay attention here. This link that we're going to use is going to be, where is it? I'm trying to recover it from the files that I just zipped. The main link that we're going to need is, hmm. Time I want to actually get something done, it doesn't do it. Hmm. This is why sometimes it's kind of hard to rely on computers. Let's see. Data. Flickety. Data flickety is what we're looking for. So I'm trying to see if I can find the data flickety, but for some reason it's just disappeared. That's upsetting. Where is it? Data flickety, data flickety. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna bring this in. And you are, uh, can, I can either paste it, chat, or you can find it. I'll actually paste it, this. So you paste this at the top for the divs. You see, here's what it is. Div ID slideshow element. We haven't actually added an ID for a slideshow element in the CSS yet. That's why it's not working. And then we have data flickety. This is like the keyword that's going to like unlock the door for flickety and for carousels. So we're also gonna need some other links. This is not all. Next, we are going to use another link. Let me see. There's another very important link that is going to really help here. There are a bunch of script links. Now, I'm not sure if you ever heard of script before, but it's very important in this. I just copied a script link. I can paste it in the chat for you. There, what happened? Ah, oh, I see. So because I haven't pasted all the script links yet, there are about three more script links. It's just taking this one and trying to use it and apparently it's not working. Well, it's kind of is. It kind of looks like a slideshow, doesn't it? It's pretty cool, but that's not what we're looking for yet. So the script link, you should paste it right above your divs. That's center and foremost your link. Then next link coming right up is going to be another script link from a different one. It's going to be script SRC. This is from a JS. So this is JavaScript. These are JavaScript. Did see. The reason we're not putting these in JavaScript is because I'm trying to keep this simple. This is the second one. Script helps HTML read JavaScript. Here you go. Let's see. Now, next one. I'm going to paste two more in here, I think. Yeah, two more. This one is a link to a CSS one. This one? You see how it says CSS at the end? See, look what has just happened. It turned those weird one, two, threes, the little weird things, into arrows and dots. It made it look a little bit better. It's pretty cool. So it's actually starting to look like a flickety carousel already, but we're not done yet. See here, there's another CSS link. See, this is the last CSS link. And then I'm gonna put these in a the chat. Did I put the other one in chat? No, I forgot to. Okay, give me a moment. Oh. 
That's pretty cool. Okay, here's this. Here you go. Here's this. Here you go. Oops, I forgot to paste it. Here you go. So those are all your links that you should need. Now, you may be wondering, why isn't it looking right? Why is it looking so weird? So here at the bottom, I have all these configurations with 100% height, 600 PX pixels, background gray. So why do I have all these items and why is it not working? Well, there's a simple solution to that. The reason it's not working is because we do not have the slideshow element yet. The slideshow element is also important. So I'm going to show you what you need to type in order to get the slideshow element. So I'm just going to paste this in here. Hashtag slideshow element. This is important here. Here we go. Background color is none because we don't want any background color that's going to distract the viewers from our tigers or whatever you're making. Border radius, third. 30 pixels. So that's what you need to type. I'm going to give you a moment to type that, and then I'm going to provide you the next part. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Now, let's see. The next part. One thing that I showed you in my original, let me share you again, share it again, this. It had a full screen button. That's pretty cool, right? So in order to do that, we're going to have to do this. Dot carousel, dot is full screen, dot carousel, cell. That's a little bit confusing, but yeah. That's going to help you with full screen. Look, now you can make it full screen. Uh, I don't know. Well, the reason it's not doing full screen is because it's not done yet. But that's actually pretty cool. Now let's see, what's next? I'll give you a moment to type that part and then I'll move on to the next part. Next part, carousel IMG. IMG stands for photos. So we're going to have to modify these photos. So this is what I would like you to paste in here. Carousel cell IMG. This modifies the IMG, which is really important. Now, do you want to type that? Okay, then we're going to begin the next part. Now get ready because this is the part that's going to transform the flickety carousel into an actual carousel and not what it is right now. Let's see here. Let me bring it up so you can see. Okay, so quick thing, I actually did something a little bit wrong, but don't worry, it's an easy fix. I just realized why it's not working. So first of all, remove the div at the top. That's the first step. I'm so sorry, everybody, but hopefully it's not such a big deal. The next step is remember that div class carousel? The carousel also needed a cell at the end to modify it. See? Now just copy that and paste it into the other ones. And there you go. That's your flickety carousel. Oh, he's kind of squished. Okay, let's fix that. How can we change this guy? I'm sure we can make him different. Maybe if we remove the IMG height, then it can look better. There we go. He's no longer squished. So IMG height only works if you have stuff the same size, the same size. But if you have something like this, a vertical, and you put the IMG height, 
They're going to make them squish or stretch or either. So if you also want to stylize it a little like I did, well, let's see. Here's what I mean. Here's how I did this. Now, if you look here, I have an H1 element. I'm going to copy and paste it and describe you what that does. Doesn't seem to do much, but if you were to add an H1 element here, like let's say you want to say H1 and then describe what you have. I'm going to say tigers, because that's what I have. And then end it. Watch what happens. Maybe nothing. That's because it's white. But see, I also have this having a black background color. You see here. Bring that in too. And you'll see. Ta da! Now, here's what this does the H1 element, text align center. That's important because without that, let's delete it. See what happens. It's over there. And that could look cool, but I want it in the center for now. Font family, Arial. You can choose any font. I chose Arial because it's simple and kind of effective. Font size, 3.5M. Now here's what M means. It, when you have M, when you make this bigger or smaller, it doesn't change the size. But when you have, let's see, when you have pixels, PX as abbreviation, it makes it bigger or smaller, making it responsive. In this case, I don't want it to be responsive. Now, color white, just to make a contrast with the background. And body background color is this. So you can change every, anything. Let's say I want it to be red. There you go, it's red or yellow. It's yellow, oh geez, no, it's not allowed to be yellow. Green. There you go, green tiger. There's actually green tiger looks cool. What if we do orange or like orange tiger? That's kind of cool. Not as bad as yellow. So there you go. Another thing that I forgot to mention, if you're into customization, you can customize this gray, boring background. Let's see, where is that? Background, gray. What else do we want to make it pink? I don't know why you would, but yeah, there it is. You have a pink background. You have some tigers. Maybe he's roaring at the pink background because he doesn't like pink. Okay, let's change it. You can also get colors like if you have a hashtag and then you type colors. Like, oh, look, that's cool. You can have a transparent. Well, let's say, what happens if I want to have that gray that I had? Give me one. Let me bring up a color. And then I can share it with you. Let's see. I'm sure maybe we would like a light orange. That's cool. Okay, so I got this light orange color over here. I'm going to paste it in. Wait a hashtag. There you go. See? Turns light orange. Pretty cool. I'm still mad, but maybe it's not because of the color, because I like this color. And I feel like tigers would like it too. So that's what you get. And if you want to add more images, remember in the beginning about the divs. Or you could just copy this right here. Paste it. And now you have in two of these, which you can change the image. Like if I wanted to get another tiger. See, maybe I like maybe I like this guy, because he looks kind of regal. He's nice. He's cool. He's as cool as a cucumber. Whoops, wrong thing. Open image new tab. Copy. And paste it in. Now, if you scroll, you can see now we have this guy. So that's the tutorial. I'm going to paste this link in the chat and my original one too. Let me call this demo lickety. Demo. Oops, that's not right, but flickety wrong. Flickety. Okay. Now, thank you all for watching this meeting.
I really hope you enjoyed this. Here's clicking the demo and the original one. I'm gonna paste it in here. You can have doggos or tigers, whichever you like. And if you'd wanna see how I actually started with Flickety, this is how it started. I put a Flickety here and I have these little kittens, so cute. I'm gonna paste this into, uh, let's see, Flickety example, I'm just gonna call it Flickety example. So then everybody can see this cute little Flickety. See, this is also rehosted websites if you like to take a look, but we're mostly here for the cats. I mean, who wouldn't? Now, that's all I have for today. Like I said, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.